It's time to train legs. Also, later, I'm making the most insanely delicious chicken sandwiches to help you hit your protein goals. And also, did I just say they're insanely delicious? The recipe is in the description. It's all for you. Let's get after this workout. That was fun, a nice little leg workout. I'm gonna hop on the elliptical, get some sweaty freaking cardio done, and then get on with my day because it's about damn time. But freaking see you at dinner for chicken sandwiches. Time for me to show you how I make the most insane chicken sandwich. But first, the sunset is literally right out there. It's popping off. So let's go drone it. Seriously, this is about to be epic. The colors are happening. Oh, look at this freaking sunset. The dogs will come with. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Here we go. It looks so sick. Wow. It's taking too long just spying on the neighbors. Oh, hey, let me show you what I'm seeing. Check this out. That was fun. Let's bring her back. Yo, <clears throat> flying my drone was fun. Sunset was pretty. Did you see it? No, I was cleaning up my hot mess express. How did you feel after the workout? <laughs> so what are we doing? Oh my God, I can't even reach it. I'm too short. My arms are a little sore, but my abs mainly. I'm sure you guys remember my amazing wife, Allie. So we're gonna start with prepping the chicken. Again, this literally takes like 10 or 15 minutes to make, but it tastes amazing. Also, please remember this full recipe, it's in the description. I put it there conveniently just for you. So save the video, share it with your friends. Who will you share this video with? Great, well that's awesome. <laughs> Step number one, let's preheat our oven to 350. 350 degrees. You can also cook your chicken in the air fryer, which also turns out really good. But this is better because he does it over the stovetop and it gets like black crusty. By the way, this is convection bake at 350. Convection is very important to get a nice even bake on your chicken. Oven's preheating. I'm going to weigh and season the chicken. But while I'm doing that, I'm gonna heat up my pan. Got our skillet here, get that heat on it. And then I'm gonna add some oil here. We're gonna add a tablespoon of avocado oil to the pan while it's heating up. There's a tablespoon right in. Oh yeah, buddy. That's literally all the oil that I'm I'm gonna use. Also what I'm gonna do, get a baking tray as well as a rack because I'm gonna sear each side of the chicken for a few minutes, put it on this rack, 
And obviously that's why the oven's preheating. Now let's go season our chicken. Now keep in mind that pan is preheating at a medium high heat. I like to get the pan nice and hot because then you get like a nice dark brown, almost blackened crust on the outside of the chicken. And it gets like black crusty. And that's gonna give you all of the flavor. So let's dive into this here. Just your basic chicken breast, dude. That's all it is. Got a little glass dish here, obviously a food scale. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna have eight ounces of chicken. I do about four ounces in the sandwich and then an extra four ounces on the side. And what I actually like to do with some of this chicken here is just trim extra fat off of it. I don't need that. I don't want that. So this is exactly nine ounces of chicken. I'll just go with nine. Cut this right down the middle. Raw chicken is so gross. Cut off that yucky white part. Ugh. What I'm actually gonna do is make sure they're about the same thickness. So like this one here, I'm just gonna Punch it down like that. And obviously, this ensures that they all cook and bake even. Now all we have to do is get some seasoning on this and get it in the pan. This is the easiest seasoning for this chicken. A little bit of Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, garlic powder. And I just do a nice even coat of this on each side. Chipotle pepper, but you're gonna wanna be careful with this because it's very spicy. I don't want you to ruin the meal because you're sweating and your mouth is on fire. So I usually just do one side of the chipotle pepper and smoked paprika. This is a must. I season like all of my proteins with smoked paprika. Gotta get some tongs, turn the heat down on the pan. Chicken's all seasoned. These are ready to get freaking crisp to oblivion. So our pan is nice and hot now. You see a little bit of smoke coming up. That means the pan is ready. And I like to usually do three or four minutes on each side. Once like the edges around the chicken get a little white, that's when you know it's time to flip it. Let's go in with it. And keep in mind, I am mentally remembering which chicken is mine and which chicken is Allie's. Oh yeah, buddy. I had originally planned for eight ounces of chicken. Better update that in my fitness pal to nine ounces. When I weigh all of my protein, my steak, chicken, whatever I'm eating, I always weigh it and track it raw. If you weigh it after you've cooked it, it's lost about 20% of its raw weight. So you're gonna have some inaccuracy there. If you're weighing, let's say nine ounces of cooked chicken, it's gonna be closer to like 12 ounces of raw chicken. And this looks like it's ready to flip. This chicken looks just about done. It's got a nice black crust on each side. I'm gonna turn that heat off. And then we're just gonna put it right on this freaking rack right here. Look how easy that is. You wanna get it this nice freaking blackish, crispy color on it. Let's go get it in the oven. Putting it right in here, right on the center rack. Close it right up. See in a little bit, buddy. I'm gonna set a timer and have a bake for about 14 minutes. So I like to just use my Apple Watch. As you guys know, I'm a freaking Apple Watch fanboy. 14 minutes, start. And I could have easily used the microwave timer I normally do, but Nah. So let's let the chicken bake, and now we're gonna prep the buns. We both use different <laughs> buns. Yours looks kinda like an English muffin. Sara Lee Artisano or something. Here's the thing. You want a bomb freaking chicken sandwich, the bun is everything. Allie's is good, but mine's better. Well, yours is less calories. But it also tastes better. Okay. Saint Pierre. Look, just find a brioche burger bun, and you're gonna be solid. So one thing I will do is weigh this bun. 50 grams, exactly what the packaging says. So now what we do, give it a little spray of olive oil cooking spray. You sprinkle these with a little garlic powder and I bet you can guess what we're gonna do with these buns. We're gonna do freaking hot cross buns. I'll do this. Okay, you do it. <laughs> garlic powder. Exactly what I was touch gonna of do. Little salt. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> My bad. Hey, question. What if I was only wearing the apron? I would be really grossed out by that. We got a minute left in the chicken. By the way, I've been cooking chicken breast for a really long time using the same method. So I'm very confident in making sure my poultry is cooked through, but I should say for general purposes, make sure your poultry is cooked to at least 165 degrees. I love this little gadget. I use this every single time I cook my chicken in the air fryer or anything meat related in the air fryer. It's called meter. And you just like stick this little probe in there yeah. and connects to an an app and it tells you the exact temperature when you should take it out. It makes cooking so easy and this helps a lot. By the way, that was not a sponsored ad. Ooh, the chicken's done. I'm Julia Childs and you're- Stanley Tucci. Let's take a look and see here. Not quite as firm as I would like, so I'm actually gonna keep it in for like three, four more minutes. The chicken is officially done. 
Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> that was sketchy. That was... Look at this beauty right here. Put that chicken right there. Let it rest for a little bit. Broiler on high. Buns are going in. So we got our chicken resting right here. The buns are in the broiler. And that's a very important step because we want to get the inside of those buns nice and toasted. And you just get so much more flavor. It's freaking amazing. Have someone, if it's not yourself, keeping a very close watch on the broiler. It can very easily go from a perfectly golden brown crisp on your bun to just a smoked out burnt piece of shit. And once those buns are ready, we've got some olive oil mayo here, pickles, as well as some iceberg lettuce. I used to make this with pickles, lettuce, tomato, onions, a bunch of stuff. And then I said, let me just try it really simple. This is it. Oh, wait, I'm forgetting one thing. I don't know if you've tried this, but this is freaking amazing. And I put this on and look at the crisp on these buns. So now let's make the sandwich. So I've got my food scale here. I'm gonna put my plate with the buns right on it. And then once I put it on the food scale, then I'll just zero out the scale. All I'm weighing is my mayo in this freaking capital city mambo sauce. 15 grams of mayo. So I spread a little on, that's nine grams. Spread a bit more on here, 12 grams. Can you hear that? 16 grams, that's fine. Mm. Okay. Can you do that? <laughs> Dang it. The jar is slippery. Your one pickle looks so cute. There it is. I could never do one pickle. I like a mountain of pickles. Uh, little chicken niblet. Mm -hmm. So now I'll put my chicken on, put my other piece of chicken right on the plate right there. Zero out the scale. And we're just gonna drizzle this stuff on. Oh yeah. This stuff is on Amazon. It's not too bad on calories. Hey, maybe I'll link it for you in the description. Let's do 25 grams of this. How's your sandwich, Bug? Look Done. I like lots of lettuce. Did you do a mountain of pickles? Yeah, it was probably like 10. We love our pickles here. I just put pickles on my sandwich. Again, I don't track pickles or lettuce because this whole bag is like 30 calories. This is how much lettuce I'm actually using. Maybe half a calorie. The pickles, <laughs> look at this, zero <laughs> calories. Now it's time for the finishing touches. Here we go. It's beautiful. There you go. We are excited to devour these chicken sandwiches right now. I'd eat this like two or three times a week if I could. Including the extra chicken on my plate, all of this is 593 calories. The macros on this are amazing. Um, should we try this? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna take my lettuce and put more on top. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. So good. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Drop a like, leave a comment. Let me know, are there any other food recipes you'd like to see from me? Mm. Mm. The bun, the sauce, the protein. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's good when it's dripping. All right, friends, see you on the next video. Peace. <laughs>